welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute, let me tell you. I haven't had the energy in me to pick up the vlog camera by myself without George. Um, he has been gone now for about a month, which is crazy how much time has flown already. Um, kind of mixed feelings about it. I'm very happy that the time is going fast, but at the same time, I feel like I have a million and ten things to get done here in San Diego before I essentially move. So it's been very busy, which I think I'm grateful for because for me, when I'm busy, it takes my mind off of the whole distance thing. Anyways, I do miss him and I'm really excited. We just got a little update from our lawyer last week saying that the decision-making team in the UK actually received our application. So they're kind of making their decision any day now so we should be waiting for that anyways I just wanted to keep you up with what was going on a little bit with that and the visa and we should be hearing back pretty much any day now about the decision which is really really exciting and once the decisions made I have 30 days to get there so yeah lots to do I'm wrapping up here anyways back at home in California um, but today's vlog is all about glow up and feeling good about yourself mind body and soul I wanted to take you guys through my week this week because this is a week all about self-care and pampering because your girl needs a little TLC okay let me just tell you something I have been down in the dumps down in the quarantine slumps not looking my best not feeling my best definitely not taking care of my body um, and I needed to kick it back in gear I feel like this quarantine real talk here took a toll on my mental and physical health I opened up a little bit about it on Instagram but I struggled for about eight months I did not exercise I was not eating clean I wasn't taking care of myself and it really started to affect me mentally um, just because I was starting to get really down on myself and I knew that I wasn't really taking care of my body in the best way I knew how. So ever since, you know, the last kind of week that George was here and then after he left, I really have been working on trying to maintain a consistent exercise schedule um, and also trying to eat as clean as possible. Obviously we have our cheat days here and there, but trying to stay away as much as I can from dairy, because I know dairy does not work with me, and gluten as well, so, and alcohol. I've also been trying to limit my glasses of wine throughout the week because I love me a glass of wine. Anyways, I am all for the glow up. Um, I wanted to get my hair done, my nails done, get a tan. I went to the dentist last week, which I didn't film, but I got everything taken care of. My teeth, they're white now. <laughs> like just taking care of everything. For Christmas, my parents got me a facial and I've only had two facials in my whole entire life and I absolutely loved them when I got them done. I think I got one done at Club Med at a hotel and another hotel somewhere where I forget where exactly but facials are just so relaxing and a great way to just kind of reset and relax a little bit so I'm on my way right now to get a facial at this girl named Brie here in Del Mar which I'm really excited about Jen my stepmom she goes to her all the time and so she booked me a first time appointment with her so I'm really 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 excited so this is a glow up vlog. This is going to be all about me getting pampered and going on with my week. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go get a facial. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just got back from my facial. I was going to take you with me, but because of COVID, there's all these restrictions. They were taking temperatures. It just felt weird pulling out my camera, but can you see the glow on my skin right now? I mean... You guys, I feel like a whole new lady. She got all the gunk out from all the dirt that was in my pores from traveling over the last few months. Um, she basically did a whole brightening and tightening serum and mask on my face. It felt so nice. She also did some extractions getting through all my pores. Um, not to get too graphic, but it was really amazing. She did so good that I booked myself a second appointment just before I go back to London because I feel so amazing um yeah I'm a fan of facials now I don't know that I would ever go back so yeah take a good look guys highly suggest a facial if you need some extra TLC thought I would show you guys these roses George sent they just came in the mail today he got me a dozen red roses for Valentine's Day which is so sweet I feel so spoiled it's gonna be a sad Valentine's Day without him but I think that's so nice 
so kind. Thanks, hon. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm up early. I, I literally woke up this morning at 4.45 naturally and I couldn't go back to sleep so I kind of have tired eyes here but today is number day two of the pampering session. I am on my way to go get sugared and um, this is like for the ladies out there, not the men. You guys can fast forward this part, but I've never been sugared before. It's similar to waxing. Um, and so I'm really curious as to a, how painful it will be and b how like good it will be as in how long I can go without having my hair grow back. So I'm very interested. I'm getting my legs and my bikini done and I just popped a few ibuprofens because I'm definitely nervous about the pain level. On the phone I was calling beforehand and she told me that some people say when it's their first time that it hurts more than getting a tattoo. So I will keep you posted on how it goes but I'm heading there now. Okay, here's the deal guys. I just pulled up and I am like really nervous. <laughs> I am doing a natural sugar melt, which is a little bit different than waxing and it's supposed to be less painful. So we'll see. I'm just, I'm like 15 minutes early and I'm sitting here like a little bit nervous. Um, I do think I have a high pain tolerance though. So I don't know. I'm going to be interested to see. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to walk in minute and then I'll come back and tell you how it is. Okay guys, I just got out of my appointment and honestly it hurt but not as bad as I was working it up to be. It wasn't as painful as I kind of expected but the lady who did my sugaring was super sweet and she said you know everyone has a different either pain tolerance and then also amount of hair so it's just different for everyone <laughs> if that's TMI I'm sorry but I just wanted to say it wasn't as painful as I thought and um, I'm actually really happy with the results so I'm gonna wait now four weeks until I go back again to do it again um, but I'm a fan so far and yeah just another thing on the list of the week of pampering. Um, so I had my teeth done, I had a facial, and now I had my sugaring appointment. I really want to get my nails done, um, so I'm probably going to book a nail appointment in, and then maybe we will also see if I can get a hair appointment scheduled in before I leave to England too. My hair lady is in Newport Beach, which is kind of far. It's like an hour and a half drive from where I live now. So. It's always really hard to get booked in and just justify driving that far for my hair, um, but I love her so much. She does such a good job, and sometimes getting your hair done is just one of those things that you just have to do to make yourself feel a little bit better about yourself. Um, so yeah, I've been meaning to get in touch with her, so I think I'm going to make sure I get that done this week. Other than that, that was like kind of like, like my little pamper segment of this vlog. I don't know what else to vlog. Honestly, I've been feeling really weird without George here. I just feel like it's... He's like my teammate, my tag team. I feel awkward bringing out my camera. It is my stepmom's birthday today, actually. We're going out to dinner tonight for her birthday, and we're going to a really yummy Italian restaurant, and I've only eaten out twice since the pandemic. <laughs> like, out-out at a restaurant, outdoor dining, I guess, and so I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah, I just know that it's been really tough to go out to restaurants, so it should be an interesting night but I'm definitely excited for some Italian food I don't know if I'm gonna get pasta or pizza or both definitely a glass or a bottle of wine but yeah just celebrating the birthday so I will bring you with us on the birthday extravaganza tonight happy birthday Jen are you comfortable sitting here or do you want to sit on the other side yeah Chad wanted to know if you want to be on this side or that side Continuing the pampering week and getting a manicure because both of us, oh, look at this, hold on. Yeah, that's what we're working with. That's really tragic. Look at Jen's. Mm. Ouch, mm. ouch. Mm. And toes. And <laughs> so we're going to get our nails done. Girls nail date, yay! I'm actually nervous to go get my nails done because I just spent the last year breaking the habit of getting my nails done. And now I'm worried that I'm stepping back into the Oh, now it's going to become a regular occurrence. I know, I'm nervous. Why? Because I don't 
Nails done just makes you feel good, even if it's a clear coat. I know. That's you were all going all natural, weren't you? Yeah, you I were was. Like, you were like a natural gal. I was. No more. No more, no Darken more. Darken it up, sister. Paint it up. Time to get my first manicure in a year. <laughs>